In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the parts ordering system to place an order for individual parts, not necessarily a whole design. The way we do it, though, is we, we want you to go ahead and start a design and, and place units in the design that, are, that contain the parts you want, and then we'll show you how to go further. So here I am. I do have a simple design here. Let's just open it up and take a look at it. It's a single wall closet. It's got four uh, units on it. If these, uh, if I need parts similar to this, we probably won't have all these units down there. So let me just delete uh, the drawer unit out of here, and uh, let's just, let's just say we're looking for some some shelves and maybe some hang rods. So these are at 29 inches, uh, 29 inches wide, 14 deep. Let's just say those are the size of the and the color, and this is this is exactly the parts that we need. But we don't actually need two full units. So now that I have that design ready, I can click this P here to generate parts order. What that'll do is pull all the parts out. So again, it's wall one, section one, and then it's wall one, section two. And you can see all the parts are listed for section two. So if I only want, uh, let's say I don't need the vertical panels in this case, but I do need some hang rods, I can order the hang rod, which is gonna come at 29 inches. And let's assume I need the cups as well. Maybe I need the fixed shelf. I'll take that with some hardware. And I'll take another hang rod. And maybe down here, I'll take a couple adjustable shelves at this size with edge banding and the shelf pins. Even if I need more than just one adjustable shelf, I'll show you how you can do that on the next page. So if I select that and I save those parts, it's going to pull those parts out. So here we have the hang rod with left, left and right cup, the fixed shelf. It's showing you the sizes of these items and how much they're going to cost you to order. I mentioned earlier that if you want more than just one adjustable shelf, what you need to do is change this. So if I wanted four of these adjustable shelves, I will just change this by multiple four and update the order. Price changes, and now you see I have 16 shelf pins and four adjustable shelves with edge banding. If I realize you ordered one too many hang rods, I can just zero that out. Zero out the left cup, the right cup, update the order, and that removes the second hang rod. So let's say these are the parts that I want to go ahead and order. I would then just save that order. It'll create a parts order for us with a price. If you want to review that parts order, you just open it again and look at it. You can, you can still change the quantity if you want. It's up to you. And then you can go ahead and place that order. You can either put it on a proposal or you can put it and go ahead and purchase that order. And as you can see from the cut list, it's just going to create a cut list just as if it was a closet and it will only have the parts on it that we're asking for. So it's got the hardware on bottom, the different parts up on top, and the quantities here in this column. And that's how you place an individual parts order using Closet Pro. Thank you.